sometimes you have to convert a unit, and these units might include a power. There is only one rule that we have to follow, and that rule is just to raise the prefix by the same power. So here's an example. If we want to convert 5 centimeters squared into meters squared, since centi is 10 to the minus 2, we do 5 times 10 to the minus 2, and then brackets to the power of 2 as well, because the unit of length here is squared. So in this case, the powers uh, minus 2 and 2, they multiply together, they give you 10 to the power of minus 4. Here we have 0 0.6 kilometer seconds to the minus 2. In other words, this is kilometers per second squared, which is a unit of acceleration. And we want to convert it into a meter second to the minus 2. But here the power of minus 2 is applied to the unit of time and not to the unit kilometers. So when we convert kilometers into meters, we don't have to take into account that uh, there is a power. So it's simply a straight conversion of 0 0.6 times 10 to the power of 3, and 10 to the power of 3 comes from the kilo in kilometer. Here's the last example. We have 0 0.6 meter microsecond to the minus 2. This is, again, a unit of acceleration, and we want to convert that into meter second to the minus 2. So this time, micro is where we have to apply the power of minus 2. Because it's the unit of time here, microsecond, that is being raised to the power of minus 2. So we do 0 0.6 uh, times 10 to the minus 6 brackets to the power of minus 2. Since we have the power of minus 6 and the power of minus 2, these multiply together to give us a new power of 12. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.